YouTube back with another video and today we are here with the Cracker Barrel 2024 Dragon Lamp. All right now if you are familiar with Cracker Barrel and their Halloween items they have come out with a Dragon Lamp for the past few years now. Um, last year was one where you had a dragon kind of laying on top of a orb or I guess a mystic ball that kind of uh, lit up in glue with kind of like a mysterious fog-like substance going around in the ball. This year, they changed the whole game with this guy. Now, I'm going to say out of anything that Cracker Barrel has in this Halloween season, this is the one. And when they had this, in this on the display um, in store, this was the only one that everybody stopped and actually took a look at because it was... Um, it was already uh, on display. It wasn't actually working, but um, I went to another Cracker Barrel and they did have one on display that was working. But whether it was the one that wasn't working or the one that was working, everybody was surrounding and looking at this thing um, as compared to the other Halloween items they had on the floor. So. Uh, I had no plans on buying really anything from Cracker Barrel. I just stopped in to see what was going on and what they might have had. I was semi-interested in the pumpkin lamp, but I wanted to see it in person. And it just felt very cheap for even a hundred bucks. Um, a lot of plastic parts to it uh, and flimsy. Uh, just did not seem like it would hold up well at all. So I passed on that. And when I saw this guy, it was hard to not think about getting this guy. So... The one, the first Cracker Barrel I went to, they only had one in stock. It was the floor model. They had none in the back. The um, associate told me that each store is only getting one to two of these, maybe three max um, at each store. So they won't have a lot in, in stock. But, um, you know, there's a lot of Cracker Barrels across the U.S. So uh, even with just one, let's say to five each store, then that's still a pretty good number when you think about all the Cracker Barrels nationwide. But it is, I guess, more limited than the other items. Um, but I, I was going to buy the floor model. But then we kind of got uh, into a conversation about this right here. So this does take four AA batteries. Um, and is it AA? Hold on, let me make sure. Yeah, four AA batteries. But it does have a jack for um, your... Uh, DC uh, adapter jack. And if you decide to buy one on Amazon, like anywhere from eight to ten dollars, um, you have to get a six volt, two amp um, adapter. And uh, it's not included for some reason. Now, this thing goes for one hundred and sixty bucks. I don't understand why they would not include a power adapter for it. But for whatever reason, they don't. So you have to buy that separately. And just small note, if you do buy one, which I did, this thing is six foot tall. So you need to make sure that it's more than three and a half feet. Most of the ones they sell on Amazon are very short. I would get one anywhere from like, you probably want to get one about nine, at least nine feet long. Because if this thing is right here from here is probably about five feet, you're not going to have a lot of extra uh, cord space uh, on that. So, I mean, cord length. So you, you definitely want to make sure you get one at least eight or nine foot if you decide to go that route. Now, let's talk about the quality of this guy. First off, the base is very sturdy. Um, it is metal as well. Um, very, very solid base. So it's not going to, it's going to stay put once it's inserted. These are what bother me. These are the two parts that I think, you know, are going to make me really wonder whether I should keep this or not or return it because these are a cheap plastic. And you can see this thing swaying pretty easily. If any of these break or snap, it's a wrap. I mean, this thing is pretty much, not saying that it's, it's useless, but this is the, the main, I mean, it's gonna be hard to find pieces that are gonna be able to be inserted into this, this, um, this base like that. So they really should this, have made this, some type of metal would have been a whole lot better than just uh, plastic, but you know, for right now it's, it's good, but I'm, I'm worried about that. Um, but it is a solid plastic. It's not like a cheap flimsy plastic. It is pretty solid, but 
Still, it sways and uh, is plastic, so I, I'm just worried about that piece. The dragon itself is crafted pretty well. Now, there's a part here. Uh, actually, I don't see it on this one. One of the Cracker Barrels I went to the other day when I saw this, the tail, oh, it's right here. I think it's right. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. It's somewhere in here. I think it's right here because the, the scales look a little different right here. But somehow this piece fell off. And when I looked at it on the ground, all I could see was the shiny stuff around it. It looked like it was glue or maybe something. Yeah, it had to be some type of glue to hold it in place. So no problems on this one, but it just worries me that if it fell off on the display, then, you know, what's the chances of it doing on this one as well? But um, but for the most part, solid, uh, solid build. Um, I do see some pink chip cracks. Uh, I mean, pink peelings right here on the actual uh, fire. I see some right like right here on the wing piece, some paint that just that just is starting to peel off a little bit. Um, probably could have did a little bit better with the paint job, but these are just touch up issues. I mean, uh, I can go in and actually fix that. If you look at the back of it, I do see um, paint chips all in the back of this spine of the wing. I see it right here on the arm. Um, and the bad part is, is when you turn off the light and this thing starts to glow, then of course you can see it even more because those pieces that are not painted, as you see right here, are all uh, going to be seen through, you know, with the with the fire. So when it's glowing, it's, um, and it is motion sensor, by the way. You can see the light coming through all of the pieces that are not, uh, I mean, all the all the places where the paint's chipping. So definitely could have did, uh, been a better paint job, but these are just touch up, touch up issues. The quality of this thing, as far as the details of the dragon are awesome. The effects of the light with the fire is awesome. Um, I do see, it looks like, let me turn the light back on. It looks like there's glue. Let me just make sure, or if it could just be the lighting. I don't know if there's glue in here or not, but I'm worried um, eventually, like, you know, if this were to go out, how would I get in there and try to replace it? I'm not, not really sure about that either. But anyway, um, and then I see some more like little black markings where paint kind of came off in the black area on the pink part of the wing. So yeah, there, there's definitely some small quality issues here and there, but nothing major. This is definitely not worth 160 bucks. D definitely not. I'm going to say max, this should have been around 120 at the most. So we're looking at about, to, in my opinion, $40 overpriced especially with no um, DC adapter. But here's the thing. There's nothing out there that you're going to find that's like it. And even if you did find something that's similar to it for this height, and even with the, the decent quality that it does have on it, it's it's not going to be 160 bucks. It's going to be more than that if you're looking at like professional grade type of props. So for what this is and for how how rare and limited you're going to find something like this, I guess it's not that bad. And that's what a lot of us have to sometimes think about what we're getting. So, for example, that at home Reaper that's in the background, um, you know, where are you going to find something that tall that's a, a, a resin piece? You know what I mean? It's 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 one of those things where some of these stores just come up with some very unique things that you know you're not going to see every year and they're not going to re-release and you're not going to find it anywhere else. That's the time when, you know, you may have to consider spending the extra money because it's so unique and it's something that you're not going to find. Prime example, the bone throne over here from Home Depot. What other chair have you seen of this quality? This thing is heavy, high quality chair that retail for $200 when it came out. Like you're not, you, you're not gonna find that. So sometimes you gotta jump on these things, um, uh, you know, when they come out because you never know when they may come out again. 
this thing is really cool. I like the dragon sound of the growl that he makes. I don't like all the noise. And this speaker is really loud. It does not have a volume control. So you have to keep that in mind as well. It is um, motion sensor activated, or you can turn that off and just have it running the whole time, or you can just turn it on when you, you know, turn it on when you want it to work and, and set it to that uh, setting as well. The speaker is loud. Um, but you can turn the sound off. But oh, wait a minute, there's supposed to be, if I'm not mistaken, there's supposed to be another thing in here. For whatever reason, they made the on and off switch for the sound right by the dragon's tail, which I have to take a small screwdriver to actually turn up and down because I can't get my finger in there. The tail is in the way. So that was a bad design. Underneath that is a sound sensor. I'm not sure exactly what that sound sensor does, if it's actually something that can turn the volume down or not. Let me see. Um, I think that's what it is. It also has a foot pad jack in here as well, which I believe is this button um, right here. But I'm looking for that sound sensor that the instructions is talking about. I just don't see it. I don't see that in there. Um, so maybe I have to play with it and see, but if you can turn the volume down, that would be great. You can see the speaker is huge in the, where is it at? It's on the other side. I'm sorry. Like this is, it's just really interesting design. See this whole section right here is the speaker. It's a big, pretty big speaker and it is loud. Um, the battery compartment is, is really interesting when you pull this out. I do am glad they have a pull tab. The wing is actually in the way, so you got to actually push down underneath the wing to get this out. And once you get two screws off to get this out, there's an additional screw at the top you have to unscrew to put the four batteries in. Definitely a bad design when it comes to that. They should have just designed it, I don't know, somewhere in the pole just to pop in the four batteries with one screw. But that, that, I mean, you have three small screws and you have to get, you know, one of these small screwdrivers in order to, to get to them. So it's just like, I don't know, better, better design could have, could have definitely helped. But overall, make no mistake, this guy is awesome. He looks great. He's really cool. Um, I don't think you're going to find anything else like it anytime soon, especially with the fire effect. And it's just a great Halloween prop. I'm gonna turn the sound back on so you can hear that growl right quick. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, guys, so enough of the Dragon Lamp. Again, Cracker Barrel, he was online. He is sold out on the Cracker Barrel website, so he is no longer on that. Um, and again, each store, from what I'm hearing, is only going to have one to three in stock. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. Um, my camera just cut off, so just wanted to end it real quick. But my as I my phone died... Um, the adapter came in from Amazon. So I'll put that in the link as well, which one I ordered so you can get the right one. And it's working. I just took the batteries out. Uh, the adapter's working. So that helps out a lot, uh, not having to worry about batteries. Um, and again, I think this cord is about eight feet, maybe nine. Uh, so, so yeah, I can move them around a little bit. Probably should need about a 15 footer, to be honest with you. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Hope you're doing well. Happy 4th of July. Peace. He was quiet. <laughs>